you may have some new animal friends this year after the holidays. Lots of families have new animals, including some adorable kittens. And now is the time that you should start thinking about getting them vaccinated. We're joined once again this morning with our vet, Dr. Jennifer Crow from Noah's Animal Hospital. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Tell us a little bit about vaccinating. Why is it so important? Well, our cats don't socialize quite like our dogs do. So there's always a question of why do I have to vaccinate my inside cat? But as kittens, they are much more susceptible to these diseases. And in our kittens is when we really can see not just the symptoms of upper respiratory viruses, but it really can cause major problems, including death. Well, and I know that sometimes even if you have an indoor cat, you have the sliding door screen open and the other cat from outside comes up and their nose is touched that can cause some diseases as well. It can. Most of the things that we're going to be vaccinating our cats for are upper respiratory viruses that can also infect the neurologic system and the GI system. And so they are highly contagious. And so it is worth protecting them and making sure that if they do become exposed, that they don't end up with the illness. Right, and we, you know, when you go to the vet, especially your first time with a kitten, there's always that recommendation, yes, you should get your cats va vaccinated, but are there any issues that we should be concerned about? So in cats, well, in most vaccines, there is some kind of irritating substance that actually increases the way the, the body takes up and uses the vaccine. So that can be really helpful, but in some cats, it can actually stimulate a little bump that can turn into a tumor because there's so much irritation. It's really a very small percentage of cats and there are non-adjuvanted vaccines which are designed to help reduce that. There's still some controversy as to whether they work. They usually do cost a little bit more um, and so there are some people who elect not to use those mm -hmm. and that's perfectly fine. But if you have some specific concerns you should talk to your veterinarian about them. Um, but the key point is to vaccinate. We're going to prevent the illness. We're going to save kittens when they are little and even babies because it cause abortions in pregnant females. Mm, that's a bummer. And then also just keeping up with the vaccinations every year. Is that pretty typical? Some of them can be done every three years. Oh, okay. And so we know that it provides longer amounts of protection. So these are things that your veterinarian can talk to you about. There are some very clear recommendations made by some organizations that veterinarians use as resources. So they should still see the veterinarian every year to check them over. Our pets age so much faster, especially mm -hmm. when they're young and when they're old. So we want to see them very frequently, but we don't have to over vaccinate them make sure they're protected and just keep them safe. And we can. That's the great thing about vaccinations. So thank you so much for being here. Dr. Jennifer Crow with Noah's Animal Hospital joining us once again on how to protect your pets.